Good morning teachers. This is Ruth from Learn Tech with Ruth. So one of my favorite tools for teaching is actually Bingo Baker. Bingo Baker is like a bingo game except that you can play it online. So it's super easy to use. All you do is go on bingobaker.com. Um, you can establish an account for $14 for a lifetime account if you wish or you can just use it free. Um, the difference between the paid version and the free version is that on the paid version you can save your bingo games. Okay, so it's super easy actually to create a bingo game. So let's try to do one just so you see how easy it is. So you title it something. Let's say I'm doing clothing because I'm a foreign language teacher, so maybe I'm teaching my students clothing words. So you just click into one of the squares. Now you can type words in there. So I could put um, dress, okay, or I can just actually pick up a picture. So let's see, here's a picture of a dress and it goes in that little spot. Isn't that nice? Okay, let's do another one. Okay. It's like magic. Okay, so you would just fill up all of the uh, squares and then you'd be ready to play. So they have some options. Um, first of all, you can make it public, hidden or private. You can actually paste your words in there. Okay, so let's look at some that I actually had finished already. So let's see what's a good one. Okay, French Valentine's Day. Let's go with that. Okay, so these are all French Valentine's expressions. Okay, like tomber amoureux, to fall in love. Okay, tu es à moi, you are mine. Okay, so if I wanted to play this with my students, all I do is share this link right there with them. Okay, so let's click on it. Okay, it's going to generate a card for them. Everybody's going to have a different card. Um, but the thing about Bingo Baker is that all your words will be on everybody's card. Okay, so that's a little different than other bingo cards. Okay, so everybody's it's going to have all the words on their card. So you can use this as a great teaching tool. Let's see if I can go back. Okay. Um, now, they have a call list right here. So I can just go by this one. However, the thing is that it already says the French word. So I would want to print out. Let's see. Let's look at how this looks full screen. Okay. So I would print these out actually for myself and then call the English word and they would have to, let's look at the printed version. Okay. So then uh, I would just call out the English word and they have to figure out what it is in French. Okay. So you can play around with this a little bit, but it's super cool. And I just love this game. Uh, my students do too. So um, they want to play it over and over again. They just love it. Let's see, I'm trying to find the call list. No, they changed it to this now. So um, I wish it would uh, call for the definition. It doesn't. So this actually gives you the answer. So as a foreign language teacher or, you know, in any subject, you just call out the definition and the students have to find the answer. So it's kind of cool. Also, you can have your students create games. And um, if you wanted to go online and play it with your students, you can. You just uh, open your Google Meet or Zoom and bring up the game and tell everybody go on that link and then they can all play along. Super cool. So this is Ruth from Learn Tech with Ruth.